Let's go, let's go, let's go. The man at the center of yesterday's shooting, 32-year-old Juan Lopez, once dreamed of becoming a Chicago firefighter, but... He was in the fire academy and he was fired for harassing individuals in there. I can't confirm that. In 2013, Juan Lopez received a B.A. in public service from DePaul University and was currently enrolled as a graduate student working toward a master's in public service. The CBS2 investigators have learned that Lopez previously worked security at several area hospitals where it's believed he met Dr. Tamara O'Neill. A colleague of O'Neill's remembers meeting Lopez on several occasions. The story I remember was that he was either like a security officer at like Mercy or Masonic while she was attending there. And that's essentially how they met. They loved each other as much as I could gather. He came over there because they had broken off their engagement and he wanted his uh, engagement ring back. That's what brought him over there. The two investigators have learned the ATF has completed the trace of the gun used in the shooting. It was purchased legally at a suburban gun shop. Yes, he was concealed carry and had an FOID card, and he's bought, I think he purchased approximately four weapons in the last five years. At the time of the shooting, Lopez was working for the Chicago Housing Authority. They say he passed a background check before he was hired, and they had no complaints about him while he was there. Rob and Erica, still a lot of questions to be asked about and, and discovered, answers discovered about what happened. All right, Pam, thanks. Thank you.